Welcome to the voice to visual stage here in Stockholm. So what we're going to do today is we are taking our Orlando demo. We're bringing it here that we did at UE Fest Orlando. And, and we're going to show you what we did there. But instead of just doing the same demo again, we're going to take you deeper into what we're calling the magic mirror. OK, so the first one we want to do is we want to show you the video that we did live on stage. Here's the video of our presentation in Orlando. Ben, roll the video. What's wrong, Zen? You appear perturbed. Oh, I sense deception, bro. Nonsense. I run a tight ship. Everything is under control. Oh, sure. Tell that to the commander Raleigh I saw five minutes ago. Or was it you? Oh, now I'm confused. Hmm. Sensors indicate an additional life form yeah. aboard the ship. Oh, Peculiar. Ah, another Zazen? Preposterous! There could be only one Zazen, bro. There could be only one Zazen, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute! The real Zanzen is a lefty! <laughs> Excellent work, Shakespeare. Now, let's see who's behind you. Ah, oh, Uncle Engine, it was you all along. Yes, and I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling with the humans. So, so what does this mean? Does it mean that we have to file a bug report? Or... Hmm? Oh. Okay, so we did that. We did the same setup here. We have the markerless capture motion capture system. See, there are no suits on us. We're also using MetaHuman Animator. And now we actually, we can use it with uh, Android phones at 60 frames a second. We have a, a Rococo capture uh, helmet. So, so instead of just redoing that now, what I want to do is I want to talk to you about the magic mirror. And the best way to do that is to bring up one of our stars from the show. This is Ed. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Let me guess. We, are we going to talk about me? We're going to talk about the magic mirror. Oh, really? Again? Of course, again. I'm not right of it. The magic mirror is important. The magic mirror is the thing that allows people to use Unreal Engine and find their characters in real time. It's very important. Yeah, whatever. Okay, well, we're going to be doing a demo here in a minute, and he's going to be doing an amazing performance. So I hope you know your lines. Yeah, yeah. Okay, You'll all right. See. Yeah, I better see. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to bring up an example of the magic mirror on the wall behind us here. Yes, you see here? So traditionally, you, when you are doing something in CG and you're doing motion capture, you don't see your character until very late in the process, right? But here, oh wait, huh, okay. Can we lower the magic mirror a little bit? Mm, that's okay. better. So here you can see, we don't have to wait till the, the, the recording is done and we look back and review it. The actor can see what they're doing while they're doing it. So it's really powerful to get this feedback loop that is creative and it is instantaneous and it is emotional. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, using the magic mirror, show me an example of how you would find rage. Okay, that's great. Now, let's see enough something else. How would you find happiness? Okay. That was exactly the same. Okay. You're making me worried that you don't know your lines. Wow. Well. Okay, so, in order to do this recording, we're going to have Zen put on an amazing, emotional, heartfelt presentation. But to do that, we need to record it. So we can bring up here the take recorder. So the take recorder is where we keep track of stop it, all of the elements that we want to record in Unreal Engine. So like here we have the audio. We have all the uh, live link streaming uh, data for our skeletons. We also have, OK, stop it. Right. We also have the VCAM, right? So the VCAM here is actually, it's just a iOS free app on the App Store. Or you can also use a uh, iPad or an Android uh, tablet, and that allows you to connect right into Unreal Engine here, and it, it's another input 
and, and output. So it pixel streams the Unreal Engine data back to the device. So here you can see, stop it. You, but you can see that he's actually in the environment. It's almost like a VR headset, but without the headset. So he can walk around and interact, and he can record it. And it also allows him to actually hit that red button up there and start the recording using the information from the take recorder. So when you're ready, uh, start the recording. Speed. Speed One. means recording. Oh, yeah, okay. whatever. OK, so now, using all of your learnings, all of your trainings on that magic mirror, everything you know about yourself, Yeah. let's see a performance. You know what? I've got an idea. Let okay. me first get into the zone. The, the, the I need zone? to concentrate. OK. All right. Keep rolling. We're rolling. Shh. Ah! Yeah. Now you see? That was my idea. Take like that. Don't check this out. Not what I meant by magic mirror. What's that, guy? Oh! Check Do this the out. science again! No. I thought we fixed this already, man. It's not to the Zens. It's me, Egbert, the commander. Oh, I hear you, commander. But in a much better body. No, no, no. Yeah. I run a tight ship. This is not acceptable. Oh, sure. Tight ship. I have heard that before. <laughs> But, boss, I've been working on this new body transformer that is going to literally blow your mind. Oh, well, that doesn't I'm sound sure. good. And I remember well, last time what happened when you did the transformer. I don't think this is a very good idea. Well, last time I, I had too much coffee because, you know, we were party. Remember with my cousin, like Berta? Oh, yeah. We had a lot of fun that yeah. night. So I, I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Just fix it, please. I will fix it, boss. Trust me. Okay. 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 And you, we're going to talk about this. After the demo, you're, you're not doing yeah, your job. We will. Oh, okay. Ah! Oh, 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 I told you. I told That's you. even better. You know oh, how bad it is. Oh, this is not better. This is horrible. Okay, I apologize. Oh. This demo has gone off the rails. Oh. Ben, cut, please, cut. Off the rails, man. Okay, so now the take recorder is finished. And what you always want to do is do a check to see if everything you were hoping to get is recorded. Make sure that all your Transitions happen and all your dialogue happens. So Ben is going to review the tape record and make sure we got everything. Ben? Be oh. uh, now you see? That was my idea. And it's going to literally. It's even better. You look oh, up, Ben. Yeah, we got it. Okay. So now what Juan's going to do is he's going to take that recording and he's going to bring in a bunch of cameras procedural cameras that he'll be able to use to change the perspective, change the view, and also review the motion to see if there's any problems that he might want to fix. Juan? Yes, thank you. So I'm going to open here. It's a sequence that has multiple procedural cameras. I also have some wide angles. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace that previous recording with the one that we just did. So let me select that take and let's replace it here. And we're going to watch this performance through those cameras just to get a sense of like what could an edit look like and make sure that we have enough coverage. So I'm just going to play it from here. I'm going to start with a wide shot. Oh, yeah, okay. okay, so now, using all of your learnings, all of your trainings on the Magic Mirror, everything you know about yourself, yeah. let's see a performance. You know what? I've got an idea. Let okay. me first get into the zone. The, I need know? to so What I want to show you is like, so right here, right here <laughs> when he transforms it, you can actually see how the hands are intersecting the head. So the goal here is we're going to edit that motion. So I'm going to show you how we do that. The way we do it is like, we, I, you see right here, this is the captured skeleton that is actually retarget to Sase. So we want to edit the raw, the, the source data. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a layer control rig. So I can just only adjust the hands when they are needed. The, the way we do that is like we go back to the subsequence. I, I'm, I see here the capture the subsequence. I'm going to unlock it. And then I'm going to add a layer control rig. Layer. Then I'm going to save it. Save this. And I'm going to find the moment right before we want to do a fix right somewhere on here and I'm gonna select only the arm controls I have the left arm and the right arm and I'm gonna set a keyframe and then I'm gonna find 
when when he's done doing the transformation. So we're on here, and I'm gonna set another keyframe because I only wanna I wanna keep the raw data before and after, and only gonna fix what I needed. So now that I have the in betweens, I'm gonna go somewhere on here and adjust the head position of the captured skeleton. So that gets fixed. And that has auto key. I'm gonna check somewhere at the end. And I'm gonna also adjust it there. And let's review maybe in the middle. I think it's fine. So the power of this is like because it's a layer control rig, I'm not destroying any of the raw data. It is just added. And just to show you, if I disable the layer control rig, you can see the bad performance versus the good one. And now in a matter of a minute, I guess, I was able, able to fix that necessary motion. Excellent, yeah. So you can see, traditionally, this would require you to export that data. Maybe you're taking it out to DCC. You're making those changes. You're bringing it back in. You're having to reline it up, right? So to be able to make these changes live, right inside Unreal, and they're non-destructive, so you can, you can adjust them later. Uh, it's very powerful, and it really speeds up the workflow. And that's great if you've got a face and a body and a motion capture system. But what if you needed facial animation for, uh, from the voiceover artist, or maybe you need localization? With MetaHuman Animator, you can actually get facial animation right from voice. So now Juan's going to do show you that. Great. So what I did this morning, I recorded myself just greeting, just doing an audio. Because the goal is just to show you how I can take my voice, just purely voice, and through MetaHuman Animator, just create a procedural animation on a MetaHuman. And then show you how I can apply the same animation to non-MetaHuman characters. So the way you do that, we have here is MetaHuman Performer, and I'm using a heavily modified MetaHuman that was it's created by Corey Stressburger. He let us use this for the demo. As you can see, you have the face board. This mainly, MetaHuman Animator mainly works with, with MetaHumans. So in this case, the input type is audio, and this is the audio I recorded this morning. And I, I use a this is where I point the visualization mesh, which is the MetaHuman character. And since Unreal Engine 5.6, we can override the mood of this procedural animation. I can pick any of this, you know, sad, anger, surprise, happy. I'm gonna pick happy in this case. And just to show you, right now, I have an audio. I haven't processed it, so there is no effect. Stop. So next, next thing is just click the process button. It's gonna go through analyzing the audio, and it's going to give me a uh, an animation. Hello, UFX Stockholm. I am so happy to see you today. Y también puedo hablar español y tener un lip sync perfecto. So as you can see, it works really well with multiple languages. So this, this technology is really powerful in case you need to localize your content in multiple languages, and you pretty much get it for free with MetaHuman Animator. So the next step, I solve this audio to animation with a MetaHuman. But now let me show you how I can put this into the fairy creature that I was performing with. This fairy creature is a custom control rig, not a MetaHuman. And what we did, we named the same mouth controllers exactly the same as the name of the MetaHuman mouth controllers. That way we can pass the information to there. So the way I do that, I click Export Animation. And here I have, I give it a name to this animation. And it's going to ask me, what is your target character? In this case, I'm going to pick Egbert. I, say, I pick this one, I, I say create. And it gives me a warning saying, hey, there's a lot of missing controllers. And that's OK, because I only care for the mouth controllers. So I'm going to say, no problem, thank you. I'm going to proceed. So now I, have a, I save an animation. And I'm going to see how this works, how this looks. So we have here Egbert. And in this animation, I'm going to replace it with, with the one that we just kept, save. So let's replace this one with the one I have selected. And let's see if it's actually going to work. Hello, UFX Stockholm. I am so happy to see you today. Y también puedo hablar español y tener un lip sync perfecto. So that's pretty cool. It works from a meta-human character into a custom rig. But I have one more example. You saw in the short how we had the unrelated mannequin. We gave it a mouth, kind of like a hologram, like a sound wave. 
So Stepan developed this material using param material parameter collectors that are pointing to the values of the, of the mouth of the metahuman character. So that way we can actually puppeteer with that information, even a shader. So I did the same way as I showed before. When I went in here, I exported the animation to this custom, uh, geo, uh, custom maniki shader. And once I export it, I, place, I put it into the maniki. And let me show you the results. Hello, you best home. I am so happy to see you today. Y también puedo hablar español y tener un lip sync perfecto. Cool. So there you have it. All right. So you see, by using the MetaHuman Animator, even though you may not want to end up with a MetaHuman as your final result, you can use this ecosystem and you can use the tools to get that data and get that information into Unreal so you can animate any type of character in any type of style, right? But the power of the magic mirror is really only appreciated with experience. So if someone would like to come up, you can check out how quickly we can track you with a capturing marker, markerless motion capture, put the headset on you, and you can see yourself, and you can experience the feedback, the real-time feedback that's available with the magic mirror. So thank you very much, and feel free to come up with any questions, or if you want to try it out yourself. Thank you.